I'm Jason Pino. You're watching Science of Bazaar, and do not try. <laughs> that is why you don't try that at home. <laughs> Breaking a cinder block over one's head has been in the sideshow business for a while. And people will also break them over either their chests while laying on a bed of nails, and even the groin. So as you can see today, I've uh, decided to change locations. A beautiful shed in my backyard. But anyways, we're going to be talking about, obviously, breaking a concrete block on your head, or breaking a cinder block on your head, which is actually the first thing that I'm going to get to. There is a difference between a concrete block and a cinder block. Let's talk about that. So, concrete is a product that is made of cement and aggregates, uh, which uh, form a chemical reaction when combined which makes concrete. So aggregates can actually make up 60 to 75 percent of concrete's total volume. What are aggregates, you ask? So aggregates are usually things like stone, crushed stone, sand, or even gravel. So cinder blocks are actually interesting because they're actually partially made of concrete, but the aggregates in a cinder block are actually normally things like coal, cinders, or even ash. In turn, this actually makes cinder blocks uh, a lot lighter than concrete blocks, and usually, which means weaker as well. You will also notice in both they have what are called cells in the middle here. Uh, these, these are normally used to put things like metal in and other like cement help strengthen the concrete block in your building with them. But in our case, they're actually one of the things that help break a concrete block over your head. Ironically, this creates a weak spot and this actually acts as a channel uh, for the vibrations, and it's what's going to help break the block. Which then brings us to vibrations. When you hit a block with a hammer, it causes the block to vibrate. You could also call it a shockwave. If you have the block on a flat surface, this allows the vibrations to be dispersed evenly throughout the block which makes it harder to break. But if you do this on your head, the vibrations have a lot less surface area to dissipate, which causes the block to shake a lot more violently, which eventually it cracks. And that is the reason you are able to break a concrete block over your head. Except not you, me, because you shouldn't be trying this at home. So this is a stunt that I actually never do, and as you saw in the intro, I ended up breaking one of the concrete blocks. The other concrete block was actually from a friend, I just borrowed it so I couldn't actually break it. Uh, but I did do one earlier, uh, a while ago, with only a half cinder block, so it's not a whole cinder block. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely still a hard trick to perform, and come on, it's concrete, right? You know, they build they build buildings with these things. They're not meant to break.